Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, so I'm here in the state of Mayflower with the Parks and Wildlife Department. Um, so uh, today we'll be, I'm going to be taking you guys on tour of the headquarters of Mayflower Parks and Wildlife Department of the HQ of headquarters, which is located in Diamond Creek State Park. And yeah, so um, I just got off probation for Parks and Wildlife. So I'll be able to like patrol by myself and go through all the state parks and stuff like that. Or I'll go through our ju jurisdiction. So yeah, um, I posted a video recently on graduation for parks and wildlife after my cadet phase. That one did quite well, and you guys supported it a lot. So I'm here with another parks and wildlife video because I'm bored, and why not? So. Yeah, I'm just going to be taking you guys on a tour. If you want to see more videos on parks and wildlife, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's start. So we're going to start off by entering the front, or main office, or main office, I guess you can say. So, um, this is, like, where people can, like, chill and stuff. Like, uh, tourists, anyone can come in here and just hang out. And then this is the front desk where park information, this is where usually, um, Cadets after they pay after they pass their, I think it's either it's either the first stage of training which is orientation or the second which is eco training and then they can sit in the front desk they can't patrol they can't take the trucks out yet but this is where they sit and then basically if any like citizens come up with any questions about the state park they would just come up to you and ask them, and they would give them an answer so yeah this is the main lobby it's pretty cool. And then you go in here, that's how you enter this door, is how you enter the desk. You go in here, there's some nice paintings, the scenery of the state parks. And then you can also access this as a citizen, by the way, or a tourist. So this is like, kind of like the role play gift shop type place. You can't actually like buy these, but you can come here and like role play and stuff. We got this nice bear mat everyone talks about. And then that door leads to something, and I'll be showing you guys that in a second. But Let's just go up here. This is the office of the director. I can't go in there. I'm pretty sure I can't at least. So I'm not gonna go in there, but I'll just show you guys that. And then that's it for the upstairs. And then most of you guys don't know this, but Pugs and Wallop has a basement, which is how you like get on team. Actually, no. So right here. Let that door close. Right here is where you get on team. Um, it's like on and off team. Whoa! Um. Okay, exploiter. I don't know if you guys saw that, but anyways, so this is where you get on team. And I'm not going to go outside yet because I don't want to get hit by the exploiters, so I'll just show you guys the basement. So this leads you to the basement. And then this hallway down there, I'll take you guys down there after. So if you enter this room, this is like the main, like, tool room, I guess you could say. So we got the telescopic um, baton, which I have right here. And then flashlight, which we were provided with. And then a radio, which I have right here, or in my inventory, right there. And, yeah, it's basically used- oh my god, that hacker dude, he's, he's really trying to get me. Basically used for communication between multiple departments and our department. And, yeah. And then over here we got our, like, um, our dresser slash closet slash whatever you want to call it changing area so we got our own outfit which you can, which you're not supposed to like ever so just don't do that um and then you have a class a uniform and you have three types of hairs there's none which is this one tricky which is this one long which is this hair and bun which is this one and I usually use the trick. So, yeah. And then we have Class B uniform. So Class A. Yeah, but, what? Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Class A is usually used for like cadets and stuff like that. While they're doing the, doing the training and stuff. And then Class B is like for a normal age group like me. Put this on. The only difference between Class B and Class A. Here, let's do this. Put on class A real quick. Tricky. Um, I actually don't know the difference. Wait, what? 
I'm sure this ranger thing isn't supposed to be here for class A. But, it's there for some reason. Um, okay, that's weird. Okay, yeah, the pants are different. Definitely, I, I saw the change of the pants. So I guess it's just the texture of the clothing. And then, is there anything different with the hat? No, everything else is the same. Alright, anyway, so that's it for that. And then this one is formals. Just put that on right there, it looks like this. Oh my god. We don't use that unless it's for like a special event and stuff. So, yeah, that just is there. Like for graduation, we had to use that. So, you probably guys, you guys probably saw that in the video. And over here, we're provided with a Hawthorne, which I'm only Ranger of Grade 1 right now, as of now. I'm getting promoted to Grade 2 in around two weeks because I'm in Depot, which is Paws, or Parks and Wildlife's training division. And if I pass my probation phase for that, I'll get put to grade 2. So I'll be able to use the Hawthorne and, like, ammo. And, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. But I'm just waiting on that. I'm still allowed to use firearms, though, just side items. Until I get to range grade 2. So if you, after that, you just walk down this hall with some nice paintings, like, upstairs. There's a nice place to chill. And you got, like, a desk here. And, like, small meetings and stuff are hosted here. But usually they're hosted outside. But in case of like a someone who's like annoying the training session, then yeah, you just come down here for small sessions. And you can just chillax. I get some nice pictures here sometimes for the campfire. It's a nice hawthorn on the wall, and it's just comfy, I guess. I, don't know, I like it. It's very really nice. My favorite part about the whole um, HQ. So that's that's basically it for the insides. So we're just gonna Make our way back up. Alright, so this door takes us outside. I'm scared I'm gonna die, but if I die, I'll just respawn. So this takes us out back. Oh, there he is. Yep. Alright, anyways, I'm just gonna keep jumping so he doesn't get me. So if you take out, if you go out that door, it takes you out back. We have a gas pump on the side in case you need to, you know, fill up. And then we have barriers, Pugs barriers, which is for Ranger Grade 2. And cones, which is for grade 2, which I understand because I personally hate dealers. And if you give cones and barriers to a, a, a grade 1, a ranger grade 1, and you know you haven't gained their trust fully, they're not experienced with the department, they're gonna do something wrong with it. So I completely understand their choice of that. So I'll be getting to use those soon for like events and stuff. And you still have to fill out a dispense log for that. So, um, anyway. This is where you spawn your car. Um, only like law enforcement officers and folks in my life are pretty sure you can spawn their car here. So I'm gonna show you guys the boat truck. So here it is. If it'll load in, come on. I'm just gonna move it off to the side because oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna move my truck off to the side because we're not allowed to keep on the spawn pads. So that's banable offense. Alright, so, this is our truck that basically all rangers use unless you're supervisor or above. Then you get a jackalope, which I'll try to put a picture up on screen now if I can find one, but I don't know if I can. But anyway, this is the wildlife interpede, the, ch the chariot interpede. It's got black rims, it's nice, it's got folks of wildlife on the side. It's got, you know, it's it's pretty cool, it's got the, the lights, the EL ELS is. And then you all just turn them on real quick so I can get some reason just to show you guys. Those are pretty cool. And then you come to the front, we got the nice barrier, the nice lights. It's overall a nice truck, it just sucks at climbing. So, and we kind of need like good climbing trucks, so, um, any, uh, high command of Pugs and Wildlife, if you're watching this, we need Eldorado 4x4s. But anyway, um, yeah, the Jackalope's good at climbing, but. Only supervisors get to use that. Supervisor higher. So, yeah. I don't get to use that. But anyway, it's a nice truck. And that's our only deployment vehicle of the general, of course. But I like it. And I'm pretty sure the top speed on it is. I actually don't know, but it's either 100 or 110. I'm not sure. But I haven't tested it. 
which is good, because you know, I'm not supposed to speed, I'm trying to follow the law, but yeah, I think it's 100 or it's 110, because, I don't know, I'm just making a guess though, but I hope I'm right, um, anyway, so yeah, this is just the back part, back there leads into, like, you know, deeper into the state park and stuff, and then, back out front, here, let me turn my flashlight on, Anyway, back out front, we have the bus stop, which is, it's not part of any of Transit Authority's routes. I'm in Transit Authority, so I know. It's only used for, like, special events and stuff, transportation for special events. And, yeah, that's just the front of the department, the HQ. So, I don't think I'm missing anything. I hope I'm not. Maybe I should just talk about this front part. It's, like, an ATM here. We can't give money or take money while on duty, so... I just find it annoying when people are like, oh, can I have money? And I'm like, no, I can't on duty. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're lying. But it's just department policy, so sorry, guys. Anyway, this is the front. And, yeah, that's basically it for the Parks and Wildlife Department. It's nice and cozy. I really like it. I love working for PAW. It's a great department. And, yeah, I hope to have a bright future within the department. So that's going to be it for the end of the tour, or for the tour, and I will be posting more Pokes and Wildlife videos, like patrols and stuff, if you guys want to see, like, um, me going through the jurisdiction, like, all the places we can patrol, like, Landu Central Park, Plymouth Sinkhole, all that good stuff, Jackson Springs, then make sure to leave a like, and comment down below, if you guys want to see that, and, yeah, um, I'll try to work on that later, it's just I'm really busy with schoolwork, and other departments right now. It's going to be kind of hard for me to put out videos, but I'll try my hardest. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you enjoyed me, you should leave a like and subscribe for like the 10th time I'm saying that. But, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel. And, yeah, that's going to be it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. When the sun goes down.